Hi, it's the 17th of August 2019. I haven't done a video for a while because we went away for a week and then I had a student for two weeks and the allotment didn't get the attention I really wanted to give it. And the weather has not been its usual warm, sunny, balmy August weather. It's been stormy and quite rainy as well. So at least I haven't had to water too much. And the harvest has it's coming along nicely. There's been some good stuff, a bit patchy. So let me take you on a tour. I've started drying some of the bush beans in the conservatory. I rigged up these pieces of string to hang them on. I've got far too many beans to hang up at once, so what I'm hoping is they'll be able to be hung up serially. If not, I'll have to find somewhere else for them all. These are some of the chickpea plants that were dying off before the rest, and I brought them in to see if they had any chickpeas but a lot of the pods are just empty or they've got very very tiny little seeds in one and that one and they're really i don't want squash squashable so there's nothing in them after all the effort i put in i'm not going to try growing chickpeas again see i got these out they're not color some of them are creamy chickpea colored and some are brown maybe that's the variety i can't remember what the seeds look like but they're really <laughs> They're not going to make a meal, are they? This pepper plant, capsicum, for the week we went away, I put it outside and it had to fend for itself, but it started producing fruits and it's been so stormy I brought the plant in again. See all those lovely little capsicums under there? These are the other pot plants I brought outside for when we went away. This is the exploding cucumber. Not doing hugely well. This is a proper cucumber which got very, very battered by the winds, but it's still alive and there's a tiny cucumber which might grow. The tomatoes in the polytunnel have taken forever to ripen up. I've got lots of tomatoes, but most of them are still green. There's an almost red one and the little ones on this side, they're a bit more advanced because they don't have so far to go and they're very sweet and tasty. That's the end of the polytunnel, that's all open. I confess I gave up trying to stick it back together again. It just, there was, there was so much wind it kept blowing it open. And in fact, I'm thinking, don't bother with the polytunnel anymore. It's more trouble than it's worth. I think next year, <clears throat> my ideal would be to maybe have a couple of tomatoes in pots in the conservatory for early tomatoes. And then the rest of them, to be honest, they could grow on the allotment. So, here we are. Those main crop potatoes are still going strong and beginning to flower. The other ones are dying and we've harvested quite a lot. These beans are turning yellow but I think they'll stand up to a bit more rain and storm before I have to pick them. And see these tomatoes? They're not far behind the ones in the polytunnel, to be honest. This is the big ones, and then again, the little yellow ones. These potatoes are dying down, and I'm worried, actually, that the sunlight is going to penetrate the loosely piled stuff here, which is, um, what is it, it's mushroom compost and chippings. We've harvested over there already and we found the rats have gnawed quite a lot but the rats aren't such a huge problem. I think it will probably be worse if we leave these potatoes in the ground for too long. I shoved some cabbage seedlings in here then I covered them up and it's rained so I think they'll be all right. And the leeks I put into the chippings and compost mix, they're doing okay actually. And then behind them, the compost berm. That is some kind of indeterminate squash that's grown on its own. Up there on top is one of the Styrian pumpkins. Then the cucumber, then the other Styrian pumpkin, which is falling down the slope towards us. And underneath is another self-seeded something or other squashy type thing. Over here is a bean pyramid. Can't remember the kind of beans, but I know they're meant for drying. Looking quite healthy.
those beans over there are looking green as well but the ones at the back this pyramid they haven't done well at all they're going to seed time to pull them out whereas those two pyramids are still going great guns these beans are weeding I don't know if we're ever going to get around to that and that pea stand is a disaster they didn't really grow very high all those poles were wasted still a few little green peas on here but mostly that's dying I'm crouching down to avoid the wind this is the Brussels sprout department they're looking okay they've had caterpillar attacks I went around one day squashing all the caterpillars the yellow and black ones um, I think I've kept them at bay a little bit and then over here this is the calabries I've had some huge heads of calabries and they're still producing more there's a little cucumber plant that's produced cucumbers they're little prickly ones yeah, you see one behind there, I should pick that. Chris says they're bitter. Maybe we've left them too long, I don't know what it is. The sweet corn got slightly trashed by the wind, but it's very sweet and delicious. There's a cob. The other sweet corn, the baby corn over there, has also produced well. Luckily my student likes stir fries. And this is the hapless chickpea bed. So, let's see, is there a chickpea in there? Oh, actually there is one in there. Well, that's not bad. If I get more like that, it's worth harvesting them. This is the Bolivian giant achocha, the exploding cucumber, swamping the celeriac. There's supposed to be a row of celeriac in there somewhere. And this thing's rambling all over the place. So, it may even yet have some exploding cucumbers. And the bean stand, full of multicultural beans, all different kinds, because the first ones I planted, only a couple survived, and so on and so on. Finally got some runner beans. Well, I say finally, we've been having runner beans for a month or more, but because we went away, they all got too big and I had to pick them off and discard them because they were getting papery and the new lot took a while. Actually we have been picking runner beans for a couple of weeks but only a few here and there and the French beans are actually much more prolific but then you can eat the French beans when they're quite fat with the beans in and they're not papery. This is my St Jude bed, the bed for the hopeless cases, the things that my allotment neighbour gave me that looked really wilty and as though they wouldn't grow. The tomatoes have actually come back. They seem really hardy, tomatoes do, apart from when they get mould and foot rot or whatever it is they get, which they haven't got yet, even though I haven't, I haven't pruned them as one should. I haven't nipped out the side shoots. Probably too late now. There's one tomato. First in the red. This is where the broad beans were and one of the onion beds. I've spread manure on half of it. I'll work my way up here. I should really take these poor old cabbages out, shouldn't I? They're sprouting again, but we have so many other things to eat. There's a little cucumber coming along. And there's one of the Styrian pumpkins. They are quite huge. They're supposed to be harvested for the seeds, which don't have the tough cardboardy skins on them. They have papery skins. And guess what? I haven't kept on top of the weeds again. There's always another year. I had covered this berm with plastic, but it's been raining so much I took the plastic off to let it soak with water. See the little hazel tree that I think had some weed killer spray on it? It's still looking rather brown and sad. And this poor loganberry, it was supposed to be sending out long, long shoots for next year's fruit, but they've withered at the end. And I'm pretty sure that's weed killer from behind there. Still, we're not short of hazel trees. Oh, look, damsons. Whoop. The plum tree is laden again. 
This little paper plant was started at the same time as the ones in the conservatory. The one in the conservatory has masses of fruit. This one's only just starting to flower, so you can see the difference. It's quite small still. But then the chilli peppers, there's one here. It's got some chilli peppers on it. And this one, these look really wicked. Look at the colour of those. If only the wind would change and we get a bit more sun, everything would be perfect. But you have to take what comes in an allotment, don't you? See you next time.